so hello everyone my name is ravindra today we see how to create or how to display the power app tables into the power pages by using the liquid language okay so basically we are created a contact us table here you can be see we have three columns name email and message here okay so we simply displaying this data into our power app studio okay in the power app pages by using the liquid language okay completely custom okay so how to create this let's we see okay so first go to the edit code open with the visual studio code okay then you will jump to the visual studio code i will little bit zoom out to you so you can be see it okay so this complete code you will be found out in the description box of the video or the in the comment box of the video also in the blog okay so complete this code you will available in the uh, at uh, blogs as well as in the comment section so if you need this uh, code you can be copy from there okay so this is the um, firstly we give the heading here to display the heading like this contact us after that we use the fetch xml okay in liquid language query okay so let's uh, i will over you uh, this is fetch xml query okay how to download or how to write this fetch xml okay so for this we have one shortcut okay so i have explained this shortcut in you in this video okay how to download fetch xml okay also attach this video in the description box uh, let you check okay still i also in the shortly i will told you okay so in the power pages settings okay click on this gear icon click on the advanced setting just click on this filter uh, icon here okay in the filter icon select your desired table okay which table you want so in my case i want the contact us so we will select the contact us from here okay and uh, if you want to edit some column let's click on the edit icon and uh, which column you want just select if you want to remove remove if you have to add just add email and message just click on the okay click on okay and download this fetch excel so your fetch xml is downloaded you can be see just copy this fetch xml from here okay and then go to your visual studio code okay and paste this into the fetch xml okay so to write this okay we use simply write the fetch xml component okay so this uh, fetch xml uh, will be pop up here and uh, let's uh, remove this fetch query and just use the control v and paste it okay so your fetch xml will be right here okay so i will just undo the changes so up to this uh, every uh, it is very simple okay then we have to show the table rows okay or the rows in the power apps like this row okay let's uh, i will create one more row to understand you let's give here ravindra sadhav id j ravindra 123@gmail.com Okay, now it's okay. Get out good. Good only. Yeah, and less. Okay, so the data is saving now. Now it's save. Let's we go in the contact us and refresh this. So our second row will added here. Okay, completely uh, everything is dynamic. Okay, so we will go in contact us. So how to write this? So first use the for. Okay, just uh, type the for. Okay, and the pop up will show. Just click on this. Okay, after that you have to use this same name like I have used here data. So you have to use this same name. data instead of collection data give the dot use this name item after that use this same name and just close this giving after dot and everything is same as like uh, this okay so we will just copy this if you use writing this in the due okay 
So just uh, create a due and uh, just close the due here. Yeah, we close due here, okay? And if you have to write something in this due, okay? So use uh, this uh, curly braces two times, okay? The item here, okay? Just copy the items. And here you have to write items, okay? Just items dot your column name, which column you have to show. So in our case, if you have to show the name, so this, okay? So in this format, uh, you have to write, we just do the name. name here. Just use control yes and save it. It will be show to you in your power uh, designer studio as well as in uh, contact us form, okay? So also to showcase this data, okay? Uh, we have to give the table permission, okay? So means uh, the power pages, we have to create a table permission as well, okay? So how to create a table permission, I have, uh, and uh, how to create a web role, okay? I have created one separate video for that. You can access this video, okay? I will um, share this video in the comment box uh, as well, in also in the description box also, box as well, and you can be click uh, at the right hand side corner and you can be watched from here also. Um, that's all about friend how to write the page XML okay uh, and uh, show the uh, data was data directly in the power pages by using the liquid language. If you have some suggestions or query you can be uh, write in the comment box or you can be reach out to me on the different platforms like LinkedIn or anywhere okay you can be contact me through the Gmail also. That's all about friends. Thank you. Have a nice day.